Hello, everybody, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 of Computer Central 101. Um, in this episode, we are going to be running Android on a PC. So, half of this episode is we're going to be setting up the bootable flash drive, and then the other half, I'm going to switch to a camera, and we're going to run it on an old PC. You can run this without installing, so if you want to follow along, feel welcome to follow along. So, let's start. Okay, so we are going to start up here with um, downloading the Android Lollipop ISO and downloading the Pendrive Linux USB something something to create a bootable USB. So, let me just take this out. So, um, there's a link in the description and it's going to lead to this page. It's going to say no preview available and you can just click download. And then you're going to see Android x86 5.2.iso. And you're going to click download anyway. So after it downloads, it should probably be saved in your downloads. And that's right here. And then you want to go to pendrivelinux.com, which it's all going to be in the description, so don't worry about it. And then um, once you're at pendrivelinux.com, you want to click on Universal USB Installer. Easy as one, two, three. So after you click this, you just want to scroll down, download it, open it click agree and um, this window is going to pop up here and it's going to ask for you to select the Linux distribution and this is how you make the bootable USB flash so after you have the Android 5.0 ISO downloaded and you have the universal USB installer opened um, plug in your USB now I have very limited USB space on this computer so So, um, after, so it's going to open up, and what you want to do is you want to go into Universal USB Installer, and when it says select a Linux distribution, there's no Android on here, so you want to try unlisted. You're going to click Browse, and you're going to go to Downloads and select the Android ISO, so that's the Android ISO, and you're going to select the USB flash drive letter, so So you're going to format F. You have to format it, otherwise it's not going to work. And then you want to click create. And everything on your flash drive is going to be deleted. So you have to be careful with that. So you just click yes. And you have to. it's going to close all explore, explore windows. And we will be back when this is done. Okay, so we're all done here. It says installation done. Process is complete. And we're going to go ahead and click close. You want to open up the USB flash drive to make sure you did it on the right one. Navigate to this PC. And oh. we'll click right here on UUIF. So now I'm not sure what this is because I don't have a DVD drive. But anyway, so I'll disregard that. So we're going to click on UUIF, and as long as all these files are right in here, you're good. So now, what we're going to do is, we are going to boot into the BIOS, select to boot from a flash drive, and then Android will turn on, and we will try it without installing. So I'm going to have to switch over to a camera. So go ahead and disconnect your USB drive, or if you want to use it on your new shiny computer that's you know that was very expensive be careful because this could go wrong um so i'm going to switch to the camera and then we are going to boot from a flash drive okay so we are back and you're going to take your bootable usb drive and the old computer you're going to plug the bootable usb drives into the old computer and then you're going to turn off the old computer Then you're going to turn on the old computer again, and you're going to go into the boot menu. So normally, um, the boot menu is either F12 or F2, but here it's escape. So then you have these options listed right here. You're going to go into F9, so you can press F9, or whatever the key is for boot device options. Then you're going to scroll down, and you're going to boot from SanDisk um, USB. 
And now Android pops up and it says you could run Android x86 without installation. Don't press this one because that's going to install Android. Um, so you're going to press the first one and just press enter. And now um, it's going to detect Android and start Android up. So if your computer gets stuck at a sign that says root x86 and then a slash and then a hashtag, that means that your driver is, your um, graphics card is not supported. So you have to try another computer. And we'll be back once um, this is finished. Okay, setup is done and it says welcome, make yourself at home. So if we just click OK here. Um, I don't need that. Now, um, the Wi-Fi on here doesn't really work. So, any, it's very choppy. But you can see that it's full Android. So, it includes all the apps that you'd find in stock Android. There's the Play Store. And let's download an app. So, I don't think... Last time I tried this, app downloading didn't work, so I'm going to try to type with a camera in my hand. I want the Google Now Launcher, so that one right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And let's see if it installs. And you can see everything is just resemblant of stock Android, and everything is buttery smooth. And it includes Google Now as well. Oh, yeah, I think we had an error. Yeah, we had an error. So, I guess if you want an Android UI experience, this is you what you should try, but it's not really... It's not that great, because you can't download any apps, and Play Services keeps crashing, all these apps keep crashing, See, so it works, but it's not great. So, um, we'll go ahead and get back to the computer, and I'll sign off, and hold on, wait. First, I need to show you how to return to Windows. So what you want to do is you want to power this off. You can just hold it to force power it off. It doesn't matter. And then you just want to take this stick out, and then you want to press the power button again, and... Windows logo should come up and it should boot back into normal Windows. Good. Okay. So. Now, if you followed the guide that was given in this episode, then you should have ran Android successfully. But if you need any help, let me know in the comments section below and I'll try to reply to all the comments. Um, that's pretty much all for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or hit the red subscribe button. It's free and it only takes a few seconds. And um, I think the next video is going to be a review of Windows 10. So expect a lot of things. Expect um, a compilation of some videos. I'm going to show the Microsoft highlights reel for Windows 10. And um, I'm sort of going to show the best moments. And then we're going to have a demo in the form of a screencast. So um, that video should be up by either uh, maybe tomorrow or I might push it up to Monday. So... I have to see if I'll make videos over weekends, but, um, there's nothing else other than that to tell you, um, watch my season one, ep season two, episode one video, and tune into season one, because season one is 45 minutes of entertainment, and, um, so, see you in the next one.